All this and more coming up on this episode of our Star Cars series, Building a Mad Max Interceptor Pursuit Special. D Viper here with Mad Max Cars. Welcome back. I'm here with Bryce, our metal master. This is going to be the final episode of the metalwork section of this video series on building the Interceptor. Hey, if you like this video and this style of content, please hit that like button and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Those things will let us know that you like this kind of video and you want to see more. And of course, if you want to put a comment down below, we always love to hear from you. Let us know what you want to see. So, Bryce. We're heading into the very last section of metal work here. Tell us a little bit about what we're doing. I'll tell you, I'm feeling a little melancholy because uh, this car has like, been such a part of my life. I'm going to hate to see it go. Yeah? yeah. So uh, this one's going to be pretty challenging. We've got a lot of uh, little intricate pieces here to form. Bit. You know, a lot of little detailed panels, a lot of crazy shapes. There's a lot of metal forming with this. We're doing all the wheel arch stuff, all the wheel well pieces, some of the stuff along the back. Um, you know, this is the stuff that's a little bit more hidden, but man, is it important. And there's a lot of metal shape. There's a lot going on here, but I'm pretty sure I can tackle it. So you got those sections of quarter panel as the final piece, I'm taking it. Yeah, those little pieces down the bottom, that's going to take a little bit of, of doing. There's going to be some techniques there so that everything can be nice and smooth and look pretty sexy. As Thank usual, you. nothing that's scaring you. Nah. Excellent. Well, everybody, enjoy the video. We'll talk to you at the end. So we use the wheel arch as a little bit of a reference to know where we're going to need to bob the fender in order to give wheel clearance. As you can see, all that rust in there is pretty much getting cut out anyway. And this one, of course, is all marked out and ready to be cut as well. Rust isn't quite as bad, but it still needs to be modified to be wide enough for the tires and to suit the arches anyway. We're about to chop it out, and then we'll bridge the gap so that we can put the arch on. So you've just rough cut it out and now you're going to clean it up and fine yeah, detail it. it up, make it all even and pretty it up and do some final measurements to make sure that everything is 100% and the same as on the other side. I don't cut anywhere actually near the line. I, I'll, trim it, I'll trim it back slowly so that I get it just right. And here it is, all cut out, ready for the fabrication and modification and welding. Both sides are ready to go. All right, and the wheel arch odyssey begins. So first thing we have to do here is we're gonna cut out the bottom of the inside wheel well on both sides. We're gonna address whatever kind of rust that we've got under there. This side's pretty clean. The other side's pretty nasty. Here we go. All right, so here we are. I'm going to do my wheel arches. So, uh, you know, I had already kind of cut them and uh, just gotten a basic idea of where we wanted them. But what I just did now is doing some trimming, getting them actually to size. Everything's all even. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make basically like a U channel. It's going to go right in here and we're going to put it inside on one and outside on the other so we can get it good and welded and make it nice and strong. So that's what this looks like. All right, so uh, I took just took some painter's tape real quick and just made a you know a quick tracing of the opening so that I can get an idea of what to cut. So now I'm just going to cut just a, really a rough strip of metal for it so that I can begin the shaping. That was that flat piece of metal. Nice. So it looks like it's coming along there. Yeah, it is. It is. It's coming along real good. Now I'm just kind of reaching up in here, marking where it's not meeting up with the inner fender well. And then I'll pop it out and just kind of tap on it. 
with the hammers and stuff. And that looks like this. You don't think that that would do that much. Like it just looks like you just hitting it, but it puts just enough on it, man. It really closes up the gap. There's the rusty panel that we cut out that you saw us taking out a little bit ago. And there's the new panel welded in, getting ready to grind it down. There it is, all ground down. Got to do the inside panel and maybe some final detailing, but one step closer. So, here we go, next step. Here's a new inside piece to go along with the brandy new outside piece. We've got her all prepped, clamped in place, ready to do a little bit of welding. Started the stitching, gotta put welds in between the welds. Hey, what's going on there, YouTubes? All right, so, listen, I don't want you guys to think that everything goes, you know, 100% as planned. You know, this is real life and you cannot make these things in 10 minutes. Okay, so, now what we're making is the caps for the back of the rocker panels. So we have to recreate these pieces here. So first thing that I do, go through, and I'll take the actual piece and I'll go ahead and I'll just make a tracing of it. Give it a little bit extra in so that I can get the other side. I fold it in half, put it up against the window. So now I've got my left and right. And then what I did was I took just a piece of 18 gauge and then using the hammers and the bag, we're gonna get this all formed into shape. So right along this line here, this is where this piece folds over to a tight 90 and tucks in to be welded. So I'm gonna use a little chisel here, and I'm just gonna put a score in it, just so that when I go over to the shrinker, I'll have something already there to kind of help the fold. Now that'll be just enough. So this is what we're gonna turn this into. So we just used uh, some shrinkers, a couple things, and we got that nice fold over there. This is starting to take shape. It's not anywhere near close to being done, but we made sure this is all nice. So, let's see how we do it. Look at that shrinker. There we go drink time. We're at so here. A little bit more, All right? when you shrink it, it 
pulls it all in this way. So see, I lose some of my radius here, but it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to get this to bend. I can, I can get that back out. There we go. We got that back. All right, so now I like that, I like the bend. I mean, I still gotta do, you know, like little tweakies and stuff on it, but just to kind of put more of the radius, in, I'm just gonna have to work, I'm gonna have to work the bag a little bit more, just right in here, just to kind of bring that up. Okay, so now, I'm happy with my bend. Like I said, I still gotta tweak it. You can clearly tell this is much bigger than this. So, because I can't add anything, I make it big, and then I'm take, I take one piece at a time. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and trim this smaller, try to get it a little closer to the actual shape of where it needs to be, because I, need I need to make some cuts here and some folds, and then I can do some final stuff. But. That's how we put that nice little bend on it. We've got the panel basic shaped to get in there. I still gotta do a little bit of detail trimming, but as you can see, it came out nice and even the way I wanted it. So I did a little bit more measuring and looking at stuff because we got it a lot closer now. So I did a couple of trims on it, just uh, because you know, I was liking the way it was shaping, so we'll go back on the stretcher shrinker and see what we can do. All right. Here we are moving along with this. Got that front part all done, and we're moving on with the inside patches. You can see we've got that piece clecoed in. We're gonna leave that removable because we're gonna do some rust prevention inside that. And as you can see, we're doing this process on both sides. There's that inner panel clamped into place for reference. We've cut out that rusted area there that we're getting ready to patch back in. And of course, it's the same thing. We're gonna have to finish out this edge and close it out before we do the fiberglass work, which is gonna be a whole nother section of this series of videos. And there it is, got this side welded in and ground down and blended a little bit. We had the rust, we cut it out, we put that outside piece out there. So next thing that goes in is this little piece here that I made to address the rust and the holes that were in the inside inner wheel well. That'll go in like this, and weld this in here. And then after we do some treatment on the inside of this, so, and then I'll trim everything out and make it look pretty. All right, part of getting these wheel arches done is we need to close up these rocker panels that we replaced, get those ready to go, and then we'll be welding in everything here and moving back from there to finish it out. Same thing on this side, closing up the rocker panel and then working our way up and around the wheel arch and back into the quarter panel and then this car will be done. So we fabricated this panel to insert here. Both the spot behind and the panel itself have been coated with the copper weld through primer and it's all drilled and set, ready to weld in place. Now this panel's been initially tacked in place, some more welding and grinding and that'll be done. And there we go. Those end cap panels are all welded in and ground down. Next, the finishing piece for the wheel arch here. Same thing on this side. That panel's in, and this one's clecoed in and ready to go. And that's had its final fitment. We're going to pull it out and put the copper weld through primer on it. Do, do, do. 
We always make sure to cover the bonding surfaces with this copper weld through primer. And there's the view from inside. We're welding along here. Filling in those holes with a spot weld. So we've rust proofed the inside of these rocker panels. And now we've coated this end cap here with the copper weld through primer as well as the recipient edge. Next, we'll weld it in. Here we go, fire in the hole. Alright, so here we are, one of the last few steps on this car is going to be closing out these lower quarter panels and tying everything all together for a final time. As you can see this one's all cut out, we've got the inner drop down all put in and all the other little panels together so that we can start finishing it up. Hey what's going on there YouTubes? Alright, so here we are, the final button up. These little rear quarter patch panels, these are super important. You know, you wouldn't think that it would be, like just something you'd slap on, but uh, it really defines the shape of the whole rear end. We have to take into consideration the wheel arches going on top. We gotta worry about mounting the bumpers. So there's a lot that really goes into it. We've gone in already while I have access, and I've gone through and made sure that all the other work that I've done is good, and I've taken down all my sharp edges, and anything that I would wanna get to later, but won't be able to. We prepped our panel, that copper weld through primer that we love so much. You'll notice I've poked my holes for my spot welds, but we are doing one little thing different here, and it's a big thing. You'll notice I don't have anything up top for those spot welds. Um, that's because we're actually gonna seam weld this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to do it all out of metal and forming so that there is no filler that'll be needed right here. So what we've done is this panel is cut just a little bit past where the transition and the little bend goes to come down. And this just pops right in. Like that. And then through the magic of motion pictures, we're going to clico it all on here and it's going to take like a second. We'll do it like boom. There it is, just like that. It was that easy. So, yep, so now we got her all clicked in. This is really ready to start being welded. And then this is gonna be a really slow process because can't have any warping. I don't want any of this to go wavy gravy. So, you know, we'll probably do one, do one, do one, do one, go do something else. And then come back and every few minutes. And, Especially on this seam here, I'm going to be waiting until I can touch this with my bare hands and don't feel anything warm before I put on the next one. Time consuming, but it'll be well worth it. Here you can see we've got the panel all clicoed in. All the edges are painted with the copper weld through primer. And we're getting ready to final weld this in and do some grinding. It'll be beautiful, look like a finished quarter when we get done, and you won't even be able to tell it was patched. You can see we thoroughly Clico all the way around, and we'll be filling in all of those little spots. So we've ground down some of the first round of welding and we're getting ready to fill in on this stitch weld here. Should be all done and looking beautiful soon. As Bryce said, we're taking it slow and careful to make sure nothing warps. 
This side's even further along, and we'll get closer as we go. Here we are the next step along in the process. We've got some grinding done. There's some more welding to do to fill in all the little gaps in the stitch weld. Still have to do some more finished grinding. Getting close to done on this side. A Little bit more welding to finish things up and a little bit more beauty grinding and this will be ready to start painting. Same situation on this side, getting really close. Still a few final details left to go, but it's looking beautiful. You might remember in episode two when we installed these rocker panels. These rocker panels don't come with the bracket for bolting in the quarter window. We made the conscious choice to put these brackets on after the rocker panels were installed so that we could make some critical measurements. That way these will be in the exact right position. We fabricated brackets for both sides and we're getting ready to weld them in. We've got these quarter window braces welded in. Now we're about to start grinding them down and beautifying them. Guess we make them look good even though they're hidden inside. Well, there it is, everybody. Pretty much done with metal work. We might refine a few things as we're putting the fiberglass on, but it's been moved into the shop here in the back 40 of Mad Max Cars' compound to start the fiberglass work. All the metal work is done, so this is the end of this portion of this series of videos. If you come with us this far, you know how much work has gone into this car. There's still plenty more to go. Fiberglass is just the next step. So tune in for the rest of these videos. You'll see this car to completion. We'll be moving on to the fiberglass work in the next few episodes, so keep your eyes peeled. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you like this kind of content, as always, hit that like button and the subscribe button down below. And again, that'll let us know you like this kind of content and you want to see more. And if you'd like to leave a comment, as always, we'd love to hear from you. Anyway, what did you think? How did it all go? It went well. It went really well. In fact, it went a little bit better than I was expecting. It all just worked out. You know, uh, metal works like that. Sometimes everything just kind of falls right in place. Sometimes you got to fight some things. I was expecting some fight, but uh, no. It was almost like it, uh, the car wanted to be turned into a motorcycle. Well, and people got to learn a little bit about hand forming some panels as well. That's it. That's what I do. That's what we do. And I'm, I'm excited about the car. And, uh, you know, I know that it's done right. Boy, it's, it's just a great car. And now on to fiberglass, which I have nothing to do with at all. Excellent. Well, everybody, you heard it right here from Bryce. The next episodes are going to deal with the fiberglass, the body kit going on, the fender flares and the roof spoiler and the tail spoiler getting blended into the body. And then who knows after that? We'll keep moving along. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Ready? I'm just checking on the brake, Queen. The brake queen. The brake queen. I know. Is that like? Queen. Is that like the stuff? Like the brake clean, the brake queen. Brake queen. So what are you making? I'm making a blower bracket. Awesome. Like that one there. Yes, but better. Better, because you're making because, it. Because I'm making it. <laughs> this is mine. Heck yeah. It doesn't look like much, but it's something beautiful. Awesome. Now let me get back to work. Perfect.